A jubilant Vikings locker room with Mike Zimmer and a red hot Vikings team from Ford Field after beating Detroit. The team has won three consecutive games and we welcome you to TCO Studios for Vikings game plan. I'm Paul Allen, Washington next on the docket. The Vikings during the winning streak are averaging 36 points a game and we're very happy to be joined by Vikings offensive coordinator Kevin Stefanski. It was a spread the wealth Sunday at Ford Field. CJ Ham got into the end zone. What led to that? You know, I mean, that's just a kind of a base game plan play for us, a, a play that we've been running since the beginning of time uh, back in April. So CJ being a, a such a physical player, I think when he's on the field, all, people are thinking, here comes the run. So it was a little bit of a misdirection, get Kirk out on the open and then make a play. So when, when you have Dalvin rushing for touchdowns the way he does and Thielen and Diggs and the Colorado State rookie, B.C. Johnson, gets one, and Ham gets one, and Rudolph gets one. Moving forward, how much does that help what you do? Other coordinators saying, it'll go anywhere at any time. Yeah, that is the truth, and I think we got a, we have a quarterback that, based on the coverage, the ball goes where, where the ball goes. So we're fortunate that we have guys at every position. We have multiple wide receivers, multiple tight ends, multiple running backs where we want to get them the ball. Uh, I wish there was more than one ball. I wish everybody could score every game, but our job is to dial up some plays that have a chance to be successful and, and where the ball goes, the ball goes. Dalvin had two TDs at Ford Field. You have 11 rushing touchdowns through the first seven games, more than the entire season last year. What's, what's overall, what's paving the way for that? Uh, I mean, very specifically, the offensive line is paving the way, and I, I give a ton of credit to those guys. We've had some guys in and out of the lineup making plays. The tight ends are blocking really well, the effort's outstanding, and then going back to our fullback. So those guys, just the scheme uh, coming together, and then you have a special talent like Dalvin, but Dalvin would tell you it takes some people really fighting in the run game. I mean, you've seen a million games, so you know they're probably never in the history of the game has been a perfect game from a grading standpoint. B.C. Johnson, your Colorado State rookie, he gets his, his first NFL touchdown, maybe most importantly with Thielen going down, he played a career high, I believe it was 52 snaps. So just being ready for that, playing multiple positions, and just his overall progress, how's that coming along? When you're a backup in the NFL, you're gonna be called upon. You don't know when you're gonna be called upon, but when you are, you have to be ready to roll. And I think one of the things that's really great about Olabisi is that kid studies very hard. And when you're a backup, it's not like you're a one position backup. You have to know all, all the positions across the board. So we've put a lot on his plate from the, from the moment he got here and he, it's never been too big for him. And I think that that's a great uh, testament to the type of player that he is and he works really hard at it. So we're gonna always ask a lot of him in each game whether he's out there or not because he's gotta be ready to go. Kevin, when you call a play or you're, you, you've just run a play and here comes the play clock whole thing, calling a play, how do you determine whether it's gonna be run or pass? A little bit of a feel, uh, you know, I, I know my tendencies. I think our staff here does a great job of keeping me informed of our tendencies. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to be unpredictable. Uh, so there's a, an element of it where you're trying to be unpredictable while still thinking about your players and how you're gonna get your players the ball. So uh, play in and play out, even I'm not sure exactly which it's gonna be. You, you know, lastly, with, with quarterback Kirk Cousins, you, the majority of work you do with him outside of during the game is in meeting rooms and, and leading up to games. And the scholarly nature of the quarterback has put him in a position to succeed the way he has. But when he's at the line or in the huddle where you're not there, what, what are some things you know he does in those situations that you really appreciate? Well, I'll give you an example. The big pass that we hit to Stefan at the end of the game, he sent Stefan in motion and the tight ends had not gotten in their three-point stance yet. So what he was smart enough, he noticed that and he had Diggsy get over there and stopped him so that we wouldn't get a, a illegal shift penalty. So those little things that don't show up in, in the box score, obviously, but that we notice as coaches, hard to teach that type of stuff. and. You have a veteran that has been there, done that, and it's impressive to see. 